Okay, hello folks. Got my gloves on. Um, okay, so I haven't done the, um, I haven't given an update for a few, a uh, couple of weeks on this uh, DT175E from 1978. So this will be day four. And uh, a couple of updates. So, um, first of all, uh, I was working on the oil tank uh, the last time. And I thought I'd be able to use some of the uh, Loctite plastic sealant to be able to fix this thing uh, with uh, little drip feeds um, that drilled out. Unfortunately, that did not work. Uh, what did work, though, is uh, I have used Tigon tubing, as I talked about before. Um, and I actually found a piece of tubing which actually fits right inside uh, the plastic outflow there. So I actually roughened that up. Uh, use the sort of cement you get off for fixing PVC pipes, ABS pipes, etc. Um, I solvent welded the two different pieces together so I could get the right di um, internal diameter uh, for this thing. And um, then I actually um, put some solvent inside that hole and let it cure overnight. And uh, this thing here, as you can see, the it's not been, I've had it lying like that for about I don't know, two weeks at an angle to see if it would drip. No drips. So one fuel, one tank, all working again. So over the moon for that. Um, but main piece of news, I guess, uh, to share with you guys is uh, I'd ordered up, I'd ordered up um, cylinder barrel and piston kits from China 10 days ago. And it was about $180 plus shipping, so it was like 200 bucks. And I thought, well, if it arrives, it arrives. But lo and behold, what arrived yesterday on my doorstep was, nonetheless, all the way from China, um, my cylinder kit. Can you believe this? Oh, well, I was lucky. Luckily, I did not. Take this out. Wow. Almost dropped that piston there, that would not be good. Uh, so I have a piston, it's a bit naffish on top there I guess, but it has the arrow for pointing forwards when you install it. And in these two strokes, um, the two stroke piston rings, uh, they have these little locating pins, if you can actually see that, uh, in each of the, the slots we put the ring here. And that, uh, you locate the gap in the piston rings when you install it, uh, to go on either side of that ring so that uh, when the piston's moving up and down on the two stroke it uh, it won't rotate and then catch on the exhaust port so that's what that's for uh, it actually came with piston rings it came with a new gudgeon pin it came with two cylinder gaskets and it's actually it's got actually steel uh, insert there too and you know I would never really be able to get all of that locally for this so it's not too bad, actually. Really, it's like 108. Come on, guys, 108 bucks. That's fantastic. Um, so uh, today, I also actually bought. Oh, the other thing I bought. Um, uh, the other thing I bought uh, was a cable lube. So I got a new little cable luber. Um, so I'm going to get the bike out later and oil the cables on it. I'm going to actually change the engine oil on that too. Um, but then the first task I'm going to do uh, today is I'm going to have to remove the studs from the existing uh, cylinder head. A bit dark there. So I have to remove the studs from the existing cylinder head. So, um, okay, so let me um, get the gasket off. And, uh, some of this, uh, these actually look, like, uh, very good work. Um, I also have to get these ones off too. I've actually got a new rain gasket, a new gasket coming up for this also. Um, so that should be here soon too. So, uh, let yeah, that soak in. Hello, if you tap needed. 
see. So, what we can actually do is stick the two nuts and, um, yeah. Uh, I'm to put on one nuts there, upside down. Doesn't need to be upside down, but. And spanish for this. So hopefully Awesome. This is a little bit lined up. You can actually put these over both of them, hopefully. And uh, turn them out. Voila! You just have to do that to the other five and I'll get them done. And uh, there we are, I'll just actually move them all across. You just use the exact same technique. I also use some um, engine assembly lube. Oops, there go. Uh, some engine assembly lube. <clears throat> just on the threads, uh, make them go in easier. And uh, I'll put actually some on the uh, Top threads here too. No, that actually happened all perfectly good. Sweet. Uh, so now the only thing I have to do is uh, do the same with the exhausts. And uh, this is then now the. I'm just waiting for the needle bearing to come in the post. I should be here any day. And uh, once I have the needle bearing, I can then just reassemble this. And I should very shortly hopefully get this thing burst again to life after almost 17 years that I've had it. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get the exhaust. Let's get the, uh, this is a series of exhausts. So, same idea. Okay, so that's me. Uh, I got all the studs uh, put back on and um, just literally and put that there. Also, actually, I couldn't get the existing, I couldn't get the existing uh, studs out. But luckily at the local hardware store, they had that auto uh, temperature hardened studs, six millimeter exact same, so I'm perfect there. Um, took the dowel pin out of here, which was in there also, and just transferred it. it the dowel pin, a little score on it there, but it'll be fine for the scene. Um, the only thing I was there, I was going to double check today, call it a day, um, was the power reed valve. So... This is the existing reed valve. Um, this is the existing reed valve here uh, off the bike, um, and actually it's uh, it's actually a pretty good nick. Um, these open and close here, but I found a first problem. It's not lining up the holes, so that's problematic. 
Um, however, when I turn it upside down, the holes line up. So the holes are cut to the right dimensions, but actually on further inspection, actually in here, you can see uh, the thickness here and uh, thickness there versus the uh, existing barrel is thinner. So that's uh, the top is a little bit thinner too, but so this is actually stepped up. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and I'll get the Dremel out and uh, I'm going to actually take the take this off. Um, this shouldn't be so. This depends where this is hitting. Yeah. So it's not here, so it's actually this level here has to come down. So I'm going to have to file that. What's that? Interesting. I thought it was going to affect the gas flow, but well, this is the exhaust. This is, no, this is the yeah, this is the input. This is the input. Interesting. Mm hmm. Well, so that's it for today, folks. Let's uh, just went in on the. Um, exhaust valve coming and the needle bearings and I can get this thing rebuilt but obviously first I have to get this put in not unless these are bent these are actually bent up too much I'll have to read the manual it could be these just have to be bent a little bit but they fit in here fine so since it fits in there fine it's so obviously the chamber is uh, different here but obviously I can move these a little bit. I'll go and double check these plates to see what distance they should be in the manual. And uh, I might be able to adjust it.